Hello my friends, welcome back to The Lighting Lover. I'm Eugene Leon and today we're going to explore and check the lighting in the lobby of my condo building in this new episode looks good or looks bad. In these episodes we're going to do a smart critique of some lighting design spaces where we're going to use lighting technology knowledge and design criteria to see if they accomplish the goals of a good lighting design project. The lobbies of hotels, apartments or offices are the first impressions that a project shows. This building was constructed around 15 years ago and the lighting design was never changed, but they had a good design and execution. As you can see, there are different types of luminaires. In my language, I like to call them layers because each layer reveals a different sense of light. We can see that we have ambient light, accent light, work light, and decorative lamps. When you have more layers of light, you have more options to create and control them to make scenes. For this criteria, this project looks good. Now we're going to check two big points of view in our entrance. A big picture on the left and a wall with an interesting texture on the right. And for this, we're going to talk about the difference between a wall washer and a wall raising. What is a wall washer? A wall washer is used when you need to accent a piece of art in a uniform way, or you want to erase shadows in a surface. For this you need luminaires with a special optic called a wall washer or a symmetric wall wash. The position of the luminaires is determined by a formula, but it depends on the brand. Mostly they are separate from the wall at least a quarter of the wall's height and the space between them must be the same as the separation with the wall. With that formula and the right optic, you can obtain a wall washer. In our lobby, they don't have luminaires with that specific optic, but they really emphasize the picture with the disposition of the luminaires. So, that looks good. What is a wall grazing? A wall grazing is when you want to show all the different details a surface can have using light, while exploiting their materials and textures. For obtaining the best wall grazing, it should be narrow optics or be a continuous linear luminaire. The position of the luminaires must be really close to the wall. Alert! If your wall doesn't have a specific texture, and is a regular wall, never use a wall grazing because it's going to expose all the imperfections of the wall. Just for being clear the difference between them. Wall washer looks for uniformity, at least a quarter of the height separate from the wall, and have wall washer optics. A wall grazing show with the light the textures of a wall the luminaire is close to the wall, continuous line and have narrow optics. Going back to the lobby, we have a phenomenal wall with texture but there is not light there, so that looks bad. And last, we can see a difference between the color temperature, this could be because the interior of the cup is not the same white as the ceiling painting, so that could change the color. Also, it could be that the maintenance replaced the linear LED with a different color temperature, or they replace it with the same color temperature but this is a different brand. So in a project I always like to see a cohesive lighting design and if the light temperature don't match, for me, looks bad. But overall, I think this project looks good. First, because they have a strong lighting design criteria 
and owners and visitors really like this area. And that's all for this time. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have more questions about the difference between a wall racing or a wall washing, please leave a comment below and I will be really happy to answer you back. I'm the Lighting Lover and I hope you can join me to learn more about the lighting world. See you soon!